Welcome to Barkham Community Fire Station, part of East Sussex Fire and Rescue Services on call stations. Here at Barkham, we do approximately 365 calls on average. We're now going to take a virtual tour of your community fire station. When our calls get uh, come in, we get told the address and the location and the type of incident that we'll be attending. Part of the role is to ensure that we maintain our training standards. We have a small office uh, where they undertake online training. So Barkham Fire Station can have up to 14 on-call members of staff, providing cover 365 days of a year, 24 hours a day. As they come through, each one has their own kit area so they know whereabouts their kit is stored so they can go straight to it. So let's take a closer look at what our firefighters are wearing. A set of boots, a single set of leggings which have got protective knee covers, a firefighting jacket, a special fire hood that they will put on to protect their neck and their ears, a jacket that we, they will wear if they're working on the roadside where they can be seen, a fire helmet, a special mask to stop them breathing in dust, and a special, special set of gloves to prevent their hands from getting burnt. Hi, I'm Josh Gatewell and I'm a retained firefighter at Barton Fire Station. This is our truck and I'm going to give you a walk through today. To start off with, this is our road accident locker. Anytime there's a car crash on the road or you even break down in a little bit of a bad way, this is what we'll come and help you with. This is the next locker along. It contains just an assortment of useful things for us. This helps us out any job we go to. This is our first aid kit. Anytime you feel kind of injured or you have any issues, this is what we'll tend to you with. This is a similar thing, but for your pets, if your dog or your cat feels slightly ill, this is how we'll help them. And this is more stuff for helping out with road accidents. And these are just some big toolkits. And this is our hose locker. We all love using hose. We have branches which fit straight into the end. And that's what we'll fire the fire with. If we need to be really quick, we'll take these along. Really quickly. Put it. Great. This is our main pump locker. This is where the water comes out of. We plug hose into here and then take that into the fire with us and this will give us all the water we want for as long as we have a supply. This is water rescue, so if you're ever stuck in water or if you're high stuck and you need help, this is what we'll come to you with. And this is the opposite, this is an access safety kit. This is for if you're in a higher position. We'll put on a big harness, we'll get roped up and we'll come up and rescue you. In this locker we have our chimney kit. This is what we will deal with chimney fires with. Make those little smoking. We'll take it in, leave everything as clean as we possibly can. And this is our secondary minor pump. We can take this down to the riverbed, put it into the water with some of this hose, and draw it out and send that away if we can't get this anywhere nearby. Allow us to draw from lakes or rivers. Three of us are in the back along these three seats here. Two are in the front. Three in the back are responsible for wearing the actual gas mask that go into the fires with. This gives you fresh air, breathing air. And this is linked to that. And this is a thermal imaging camera for showing us where the fire is or where you are when we can't see in full visibility conditions. And this is where the incident gets controlled from and where the driver sits. On the way to an incident, we have access through this computer here, which tells us everything we need to know. And over here, we can contact our main control people and they will tell us anything extra, they will tell us details, or we can contact them to give them updates on what we're doing. These are our four ladders. We have roofing ladder, 10.5 metre ladder, and our massive 12 metre ladder. This takes four people to put up, and you get us to the third floor of any building. Part of the role of the firefighters at Barking Community Fire Station is prevention. To do that, we fit smoke alarms and give free safety advice in your home all it requires you to do is to give us a call or drop us an email. We also look to reduce water deaths and accidents in or near water, promote business safety within small and large businesses within our local communities, as well as reduce incidents and accidents on our roads. 
We need your help within the community. If you live within five minutes of the fire station, we would really like to hear from you. East Sussex offers a challenging environment whereby you can give back to your community. If you've got any questions, give us a call or speak to one of your local community firefighters.